you guys hello I am so glad you are here today because this video is going to be so much fun we are going to be making a crocheted appa from Avatar the last airbender I recently started watching the show with my fiance it just started streaming on Netflix and he watched the show when he was a kid so it's really nostalgic for him but I've never seen it so I've been watching it for the first time and it is really fun I love it and I also love the little animal characters that are in it and one of those characters is Appa who is a flying bison and he's just adorable and I was just thinking while I was watching the show I want a plushie or a stuffed animal of Appa and then I was also thinking why don't we just make one so I'm going to show you guys how to crochet one today I am basing my pattern on a pattern I found on Ravelry.com her pattern looks adorable the pictures are so cute but the pattern is completely in Spanish and I don't speak any Spanish, so I know what some of the words mean, but obviously the crocheting terms are different, so I'm just gonna base the pattern off hers using her pictures. We're gonna be interpreting this pattern, and I will link the pattern below, so if you do speak Spanish, great, you can follow this pattern word for word, it'll be amazing. We're going to use her pattern as a base, and we are going to make a crocheted appa, and I am so excited to start. So what we're gonna need for this project is three colors of yarn. I believe she used four, but I'm just gonna use three. We're gonna need brown and white, and then we're gonna need a lighter brown. You're gonna need the plastic eye and you're going to need a crochet hook. And for this pattern, we are going to be using the G hook and also a crochet needle. Okay, let's get started. So the first step is creating a slip knot for your crochet hook. So you're gonna come to the end of your yarn and you're gonna wrap it around two of your fingers. Then you're going to push it behind and through so it comes up in between the loops. So don't let the tail go through. Then you grab the loop that you just pushed through your fingers and you pull it tight and it creates a little slip knot where you can change the size of the loop. You're gonna put your hook in the loop and pull it so that it is snug but there's still room. So holding your crocheting yarn is pretty much the most important step because it determines the tension which determines how tight your stitches are and your string just doesn't go everywhere. So here's the way I do it. I hold the crochet hook with my pinky and my ring finger. My pinky is pinching the hook and guiding it. Then I take the yarn underneath of my middle finger. Then I hold right on the knot with my thumb and my middle finger and my pointer finger guides the hook. So that's my right hand. What my left hand is gonna do is your pointer finger is gonna come under and you're going to hold the knot with your thumb and middle finger if you're not holding it with your right hand. And then the pinky is holding the yarn down here to keep it tight. So even if I pull on this, it's not going anywhere because the knot's being held here and the yarn's being held here. To start the project, we're going to start out with four chains. So a chain is just looping around the yarn and pulling it through the loop. That's one. That's two. And as you crochet, you need to adjust your hold so that it goes up so that it's always right next to it so that you can't pull it out. Three, four. So on this first chain, you can see there's two strings going like this kind of looks like a braid. We're gonna go underneath of those, but on top of the one string at the bottom. Now you have your four chains connected by one slip stitch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of pull it apart and you can see down the middle, it looks a little bit like a little bird's nest. And right down the middle, there's a hole and that is the loop you're gonna stitch in. So we're gonna do six single crochets into that hole. So a single crochet just means you put your hook down through the hole grab the yarn, pull it back through, grab the yarn again, and then pull it through those two. That's one stitch. So we're gonna go through the hole, grab the yarn, pull through, grab the yarn, pull through both loops. That's two stitches. And we're gonna do six of those all together. When that's done, your bird's nest should look a little bit bigger like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to do two stitches in each of the six stitches we just made. So we'll have 12 at the end. How you find a stitch is you see these two loops here that make it look kind of like a braid. You're gonna go underneath of those two loops. So for the first stitch, it's a little tricky at first when it's all crammed together. 
You're gonna go underneath of those two loops. You're gonna pull it through, that's one. You're gonna go do it again, same stitch, that's two. So you're gonna do that all the way around until you have 12 stitches. Now that you have your second row finished, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a process to grow this even bigger and start shaping it up for the head. So what I like to do is I like to put my hook through the first stitch and I like to bring the tail through just to mark the row. So now I know the first stitch of every row is gonna be on top of this one. That way I don't have to worry about necessarily counting all of them until the end. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna do one single crochet in one stitch and then two single crochets in the next stitch. One single crochet, two single crochets. And that's going to grow this by six stitches so that it will be 18 stitches by the end. Now we have 18 stitches around and we're gonna do the exact same thing but we're going to do two single crochets and then two in the same stitch. So every time you do a row, you're increasing the number of single crochets that you just have on one stitch. That's going to make this next row 24 stitches. For example, we're going to have one stitch here, one stitch here, but then two stitches in this next one. And you're gonna repeat that until you have 24 all the way around. So we just finished row four and we have a 24 stitches all the way around. Now we're gonna do rows five, six, and seven, all using the same method, but each time increasing the stitch we do one stitch in. So for example, this next row, we want to end up with 30 stitches all the way around and we're gonna do single stitch, single stitch, single stitch, double stitch. Single stitch, single stitch, single stitch, double stitch. That's for row five. We're gonna start row six, which is single, 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 double. And after that, we're gonna have 36 stitches all the way around. And we're gonna continue onto row seven, which is for five, single, 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 double. And after that row, we're gonna have 42 stitches all the way around. Okay, so we finished row seven, and now we have 42 stitches all the way around. So I moved my little tail up to this row to be a marker for eight to 16, we're just gonna stitch one stitch in each stitch all the way around, creating the shape of the head. And it's gonna take you a little while, so just put on an episode and make the next nine rows. Okay, so I'm partway through the head and I believe the pattern says to put the eyes in between rows 13 and 14. So that's what we're gonna do. So the eyes come in two pieces. They have this round piece that goes on the back and then the piece that is the actual eye. And I believe it says that there are six stitches in between. So I'm just gonna put it over here and I'm gonna count the rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, okay. So I'm gonna put in an eye and I'm not gonna put the back on just so that I can see what it looks like. And it says six stitches in between, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Guys, I'm getting really good at reading Spanish crochet directions. <laughs> Pretty proud of myself. So we're gonna go with that. And then all you do is you take the white piece and you push it on. And once you put it on, you really can't get it off. So make sure you know where you want it. Okay. So now we have the eyes of Appa and we're gonna finish the head. Somehow I lost the footage of me doing the last few rows. What you do is you do the opposite of the increase, you do a decrease stitch and I have a picture I found online of how to do that for you guys and it's called a decrease single crochet. So just pause the video here to do 17 through 22 to finish the head. And before we do the final row, I'm gonna go ahead and stuff the head. Now that we finished the head, we're gonna move on to the little white kind of hat that's on Appa's head. So I started off with the four chains and then stitching into the first one to create our little original bird's nest. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do six stitches into this. For the next row, we're gonna do two single crochets into each stitch so that we get 12. So we just finished round two and we have 12 stitches. Now we're gonna do rounds three through seven and we're gonna continue the exact same way we made the head so that we're gonna end up with 42 stitches around. Now that we have 42 stitches around and we just finished row seven, we're going to do four more rows of just 42 stitches and I'm gonna move my marker so that I can keep track of how many rows I'm gonna do. So next we're going to do this scallop pattern across the bottom. So how we're gonna do that is we're going to do three double crochets in this stitch, three double crochets in this stitch, and then slip stitch into the next stitch. So how you do a double crochet is you get the yarn before you go through the stitch. 
so that there are three loops on the crochet hook. And we're gonna do three of those in the same stitch, then go over to the next stitch and do three again. And then we're going to do a slip stitch into this next stitch, which is just going through the stitch, grabbing the yarn and pulling it through. And that's how we're gonna make the scallops. So the steps to making Appa's body are really similar to the ones we've been doing so far. So just follow along with the prompts on the screen. Now rows 7 through 17 are just going to be 36 stitches around. Now we have one more row where we're going to do 4 single crochets and then 1 decrease single crochet to end with only 30 stitches around. So now we're going to do the ears. So the first step is 2 chains, then you're going to do 9 double crochets into the second chain from your hook. After this, we're going to do five single crochets into the first stitch that you did. And you're going to make two of these to make two little egg-shaped ears. Next up, we're going to make Appa's legs. So he had six legs, so the first part is going to be a little brown base. You're going to start off just like we have been with your little slip knot. You're going to chain four, then you're going to do a single crochet into the first chain. And that creates your little bird nest. So you're going to go through that center hole and you're going to do six stitches. Once you have the six stitches done, now we're gonna go back around, but do two stitches in every one stitch so that we're gonna have 12 all the way around. And now you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, cut the string, pull it through, and now that we have all six of these, we're going to start on the white part. So you're gonna take one of the brown bottom pieces that you've already made and make sure you pull the center string nice and tight. Then you're gonna take your white yarn and do the slip knot and then with this, what you're going to do, put your crochet hook through the last stitch that you made, loop on your new white string, and pull it through. And then I'm just going to do a slip stitch to hold it on. So now we're ready to stitch in every stitch around. So you're just going to stitch all the way around. You're going to do that to all six legs. So next we're going to make the little piece that goes over his face, kind of like his little cheeks. And we're going to make that in three pieces, two circle pieces, and then one piece that goes in between. And we're going to use the light beige yarn. So we're going to start off with our slip knot on our hook, just like we always do. I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to do six single crochets into the second chain from the hook. Once this is done, I'm going to go back around one more time and I'm going to do two single crochets in each stitch so that we have 12 all together. And when this is done, we're going to make another one for his other cheek. So now we need to connect these with a strip of crocheting. I'm going to chain six across. So I have six chains across and then I slip stitched it into the side. So now we're going to stitch six across and attach the second one. So for the third row across, we're going to do the double crochet stitch. When you're done, it should look something like this. Now we're gonna take some of our brown yarn and we're going to stitch in kind of a, a whip stitch around this top part to create Appa's nose. to make the brown patch that is on Appa's stomach. And we're going to start by chaining 13 and then stitching back across 12 stitches. The extra chain is just kind of for bending over to not make the stitches pinched. So basically what you're doing is just a rectangle and then at the end we're going to add a little bit more onto it. four rows there. 
Then when you're done with this piece, we're actually going to go around the entire thing and stitch to finish off the edges since this is going to go on Appa's belly. We want the edges to look nice and finished. So what you're going to do is you're going to chain one. You're just going to stitch around and it's going to be a little tricky because there aren't actually stitches to go into on the sides, but just fit your hook into whatever you can and do stitches all the way around to finish the edge. So after you stitch around the edge, it should look like this, all perfect and finished. Now we need to make three stripes that go across Appa's back, and to do that we're going to chain 15 and then stitch in the second chain from your hook so that you have 13 stitches across, just one row. We're going to make three of these, and then we're going to make another one that is only nine stitches. Because I don't want this video to be too, too long, I'm not going to be explaining everything as thoroughly, so just go ahead and pause the video here to learn how to crochet Appa's horns. So for Appa's little tail, we're going to start with 10 stitches in a ring, and then 2 in each of those stitches around, so the second row is going to be 20 stitches, and then for rows 3 to 9, we're just going to stitch around 20 stitches. Okay, we're finally at the last piece, which is the little arrow that goes on top of Appa's head. So what we're going to start with is three chains, and then we are going to stitch back into two of those so that we have two stitches. You're skipping the last chain that you did. And you're going to chain one, and you're going to turn it, and you're going to do two stitches in each one of those so that now you have a row of four. And you're gonna chain one and you're gonna turn it again. So now you're going to stitch one, then two and one, one, then two and one, so you have a total of six stitches. Then chain one and turn. We're gonna repeat the pattern. So we're gonna go two stitches, two and one, two stitches, two and one, until we have eight, and then another row, three stitches, two and one, three stitches, two and one, until we have 10. So this is the arrow part. So now we need to build off the shaft part for the arrow. So how we're gonna do that is we're going to slip stitch to the middle and then we're going to do two regular stitches. And then you're going to do 34 rows of just two stitches, chain turn, two stitches, chain turn until you have the shaft of the arrow. And once you've done the edging, you are done. We have all of the pieces. And now all that's left to do is assemble him. later tonight so the lighting isn't quite as nice as it was earlier but it's about 10 o'clock and we're finally ready to start assembling all the pieces that we've made so the directions for assembly are all in Spanish of course I'm just gonna kind of base it off the pictures and I'm not really gonna explain it because there's not really any way to explain it you just sew the pieces down and make it work and that's what we're gonna do so I'll film the process but it's not an exact science you just sew the pieces on where they go and I'm using the picture as a reference. So here we go, we're almost done. All we have to do is attach all of Appa's six legs and then we will be done. He is finally done. He looks so cute. I'm really happy with how it turned out. What do you think?